Festerel Technologies has adapted the life cycle from the recommendations of the ARP 4754A and DO 178B and C standards to the SCADE model-based approach. The same steps associated to their dedicated tools are tackled during the development. Let's take a deeper look at the left side of the life cycle. First, the system development phase. This phase is based on the ARP 4754A guidelines. At the beginning of the development cycle, the definition of complete and correct requirements is crucial. So for any type of model, you need to identify the requirements from which the model is developed. Those requirements should provide details and constraints to enable model development and verification activities and should be correctly allocated to software and electronic hardware items. The ARP 4754A recommends that you go from requirements analysis to their functional decomposition and architecture definition while validating between each phase either the requirements or the architecture. Then, requirements and functions should be allocated to their corresponding items. Model-based systems engineering solutions provide key features to manage this process and the complexity in systems engineering, in particular, traceability with higher level textual requirements, automated checks of design rules, and automated report generation. The SCADE dedicated tool, SCADE System, provides the features to answer this need and also includes a feature dedicated to managing data dictionaries while allowing for architecture drawing and maintaining consistency between both. SCADE system provides the capability to model functional decomposition as well as systems architecture with requirements managed using the SCADE lifecycle RM gateway. Let's detail a workflow that SCADE system supports. The engineers draw their system architecture with blocks, ports, and connectors. Numerous features allow you to organize this with packages, multi-diagrams capability, graphical styles, and alignments. They can insert the related data into blocks that are used to model components or functions. Data can carry as many attributes as the users customize. The data can then be propagated between the blocks through the connectors. The system engineers can then verify with the SCADE system checker that the model is correct with respect to the design guidelines via automated verification of design rules. The interface control documents, or ICDs, displayed in tables are the exhaustive, consistent list of data at the interface of a block at any level of the system from each individual component to the top level. The table provides not only the list of data, each with its own properties, but also the block and port source and target that is directly accessed in the model. The information displayed in the table is customized with queries on the model. Because designing a complex system is never done in one shot, managing changes in the set of data or in the architecture becomes safe with model-based ICDs that are always consistent. The tool then allows engineers to generate the architecture and functional SCADE system design with the use of the SCADE lifecycle reporter. Breaking down along the software requirements and the software architecture phases. The outcome of the requirements phase consists of the system requirements, the implementable system architecture, the ICD, and all the useful data to be spread among the development teams. From the system architecture designed in SCADE system, the software team imports the SCADE suite, the overall interface of the software component to be developed. From the system requirements and the system architecture, the system team is well able to define the system requirements allocated to the software component, from which the team can develop the software high-level requirements, or HLRs. A SCADE model is a combination of architecture items and low-level requirements, or LLRs. While LLRs are traced to HLRs, the design of software architecture items is driven by a decision-making process responding to the following considerations. What are the natural boundaries of the subcomponents of the software that will make integration and testing easier? What are the subcomponents that should or could be put in a library for reuse purpose? 
A model-based approach provides the appropriate abstraction standpoint that will facilitate the elaboration of architecture of software subcomponents. And the SCADE suite library practice allows you to easily refine reusable components. During these phases, it's also extremely important to know whether the architecture and code are compatible with the hardware target. SCADE Suite Compiler Verification Kit, CVK, contributes to this verification. CVK is a complete test suite providing a sound combination of C constructs generated from the SCADE model. This test suite comes with inputs and outputs vectors, which allows you to validate that any code generated from SCADE can run on the final target. For the software detailed design phase, SCADE Suite embodies a natural approach to specification capture. This provides developers with a clear and simple approach that when coupled with formal modeling notation underpins the qualified and certified SCADE Suite software development process. SCADE Suite simplifies the ability to capture complex specifications with an intuitive graphical notation based on unlimited nesting of data flows and state machines. Through rigorously enforced model semantics, SCADE Suite automatically ensures the integrity of the captured specification, allowing the developer to focus on building the correct application. Using the formally defined SCADE language, deterministic, reader-independent, and explicit specifications are guaranteed. The SCADE language belongs to the synchronous languages family. It is the result of 30 years of research and development. It has been specifically designed to fulfill the safety-critical application development constraints by focusing on the needs of such applications in terms of data and control flows, including state machines. In particular, it does not contain constructs that are potentially unsafe as unbounded loops or dynamic memory allocation. Dangerous constructs and unpredictable manipulations are prevented from being entered into the specification the models can be checked with formal verification. The SCADE language is strongly typed. The types are Booleans, integers, reals, characters, enumerations, structures, arrays, and the typing discipline can be checked by tools. The SCADE suite tool allows implementing the HLRs at the architecture level and the LLRs at the operators level. Each operator is a functional module with an explicit interface, a set of intermediate variables, and a set of equations. The SCADE Suite Editor provides the developer with expressive module libraries that simplify intricate operations and manipulations. The software detail design phase is associated with documents that reference the activities and outcomes of the project. The documents generation can be performed with the use of the SCADE Lifecycle Qualified Reporter. It can be used at this stage to generate the design review document. The SCADE Lifecycle Reporter automatically generates the SCADE Suite model documentation for design reviews. The documents are generated either in RTF format for the qualified version or HTML. The final reports are customizable from the tool. The detailed design review includes semantic checks automated by SCADE Suite KCG semantic check, compliance to HLR, verified by reviews and simulation, and traceability between LLRs and HLRs, verified review with the help of the RM gateway. The SCADE methodology recommends the simulation for the algorithms review. Derived requirements shall be identified and analyzed with respect to potential HLR and safety impact. Plans and standards can be provided by SRL Technologies as a support, including the DO requirements, and the experience from the company to help the SCADE users to successfully achieve their DO 178B and C SOI 1 milestone. Templates are provided for the software development plan that describes the project organization and how its life cycle will be handled, the software quality assurance plan for the software quality assurance organization and environment, the Software Configuration Management Plan for the Software Configuration Management Organization and Environment, and the Software Design Standard that is, in this case, dedicated to the design rules in relation to the SCADE environment 
and the compliance with the DO-178B, paragraph 11.6. Additional procedures documents can be provided, such as the SCADE Suite Model Semantic Checker Procedure and the SCADE Suite Software Simulation Procedure, which is the procedure for performing model simulation. Let's look at these last two documents. At the architecture level, the consistency checks are automated by SCADE Suite KCG Semantics Check. This feature performs specification integrity verification at model level for semantics verification of data typing, data dependencies, casualty issues detection, and initialization errors. It generates an HTML report with hyperlinks to help the user locate the errors. In the DO-178C context, SCADE Suite KCG has been pre-qualified for Level A, Criteria 1, TQL1. In the checker, there are design standard SCADE rules for the qualified check. They are syntax rules and semantic rules. These last ones ensure accuracy, consistency, and safety. They are not just local. Many of them address model elements interrelationship, for example. They verify data type consistency. They check that every flow has one and only one definition in any cycle where it is used. They verify casualty, meaning that the data must be produced before being consumed. And they check the completeness and accuracy of activation conditions. Predefined rules are part of the formal language definition. KCG rejects any non-conforming model. The code cannot be generated in this case. For low-level requirements, as referenced in the DO-178C MBA-7 item number 4, simulation is used to verify compliance of LLR to HLR and verify algorithms' accuracy according to HLR A-4.7 in terms of precision, convergence, and stability. The section MB 6.7 of the DO331 defines more precisely the model coverage technique and its criteria. Simulation detects design errors in a much more effective way than design review and target testing. The SCADE Suite simulator allows requirements-based model simulation for early detection of specification errors, such as graphical simulation, debug of data and control flow, display of the variable's values in the graphical mode, interactive and batch modes, test cases recorder and player, graphical widget library, breakpoints and stop conditions, simulation based on the generated code, and simulation cases shall be based on requirements above the model. The SCADE Suite Editor also features a tight integration with SCADE Display, enabling co-design, co-simulation, co-reporting, and co-generation of DO-178C up to level A certifiable code. All of these capabilities are available at model level for the graphical and logical parts of critical software applications. While software engineers design the application, the SCADE model-based design approach allows you to design the tests at the same time. The testing preparation and model verification phase is devoted to the writing of test cases that must cover 100% of the HLRs, or justifications must be given. The corresponding test cases are coded and debugged using the SCADE Lifecycle Testing Environment, or SCADE TE. While SCADE TE manages the conformance of test results with the expected results, the SCADE Suite Model Test Coverage, or MTC, allows verifying that the HLR-based test cases also achieve coverage of the LLRs expressed by the SCADE model. It acts as the stop gauge for the writing of test cases. As soon as MTC gives a score of LLR's coverage at 100%, including appropriate justification for the non-covered LLRs, the test preparation phase is achieved. Test preparation gives certification credits on the SCADE model. It establishes that the LLRs comply with the HLRs. The design of the application and its verification then leads to the software coding phase. For each cycle, the program generated from SCADE Suite computes its output vector from a stable input vector. There is no interaction between the program and its environment during a computation cycle, and therefore, 
strong practical properties, and a fully deterministic behavior. The SCADE Suite KCG Qualified Code Generator produces simple C or ADA code from the models implemented in the tool that fits the constraints of safety-critical embedded software. It's structured by function or by blocks. It's readable and traceable. There is the name, annotation propagation property. It has a static memory allocation. There are no arithmetic pointers. No recursion with bounded loops only. It has a bounded execution time and model to source code traceability. On the other hand, SCADE is able to integrate external code through well-defined interfaces with functions, types, and constants. SCADE allows to reuse manual host code C or ADA written by the users. The left side of the life cycle is tightly linked to the software verification processes of the right side. Check the dedicated video for more explanations on this topic. Thank you. Thank you.